Great to be here with you guys. Uh, I just uh, just got in town uh, just last night. I'm back traveling all over the place again, doing a lot of flying. I joined those frequent flyer programs. You guys join those things too? Are you an English speaking audience? We can start all over again. I feel like I'm addressing the United Nations right now and nobody's got on their headphones. I joined those frequent flyer things. They're all a ripoff. They're gonna give me a free ticket to Tokyo. After I fly 115,000 miles. What a ripple. I'm sick of these airlines. Every time I fly, you know how that plane backs up from the gate? They deduct that from my frequent flyer mileage. <laughs> you, you guys have been, tra you've been traveling, you've been flying. Hasn't it become an ordeal to fly anywhere anymore? The whole process has become an ordeal. I don't know of a better word for it, it than, than ordeal. The airlines have all gotten cheaper and cheaper. They're all squeezing every penny they can. This happened to me a while back. Now check this out. At a gig in Minnesota. I'm trying to get to Minnesota. Got stuck in some winter storm. I was on that airplane all day long. I was starved to death. I asked the flight attendant. I said, ma'am, do you have anything I can eat? She gave me this little bag of peanuts. I opened it up and I couldn't believe it. There's four peanuts in that bag. <laughs> really? You give a squirrel four peanuts. <laughs> she must have seen the look on my face. She says, sir, would you like another bag? <laughs> I said, oh, no, ma'am. There's no way possible I could eat eight peanuts. <laughs> In fact, once I get to six peanuts, I'm gonna have to take my belt off and unsnap my pants. <laughs> Thank you anyway. Four peanuts. She said, how about something to drink? I said, that sounds like a good idea. Let me get a tablespoon of orange juice with that. <laughs> Four peanuts and a tablespoon of orange juice, I'm good for the whole day. <laughs> Hey, there's a reason the airlines have all gotten so cheap. I mean, it seems like every couple of years, you read about them going into bankruptcy or coming out of bankruptcy. That doesn't instill a lot of confidence. I'm glad they're not throwing that stuff up in our face every time we fly. Could you imagine that? Welcome aboard bankrupt airlines, ladies and gentlemen, this is your pilot from the flight deck. For your safety and comfort, flight attendants will be accepting bids on seat belts and oxygen masks. Cocktails, beer, and wine available for purchase from the co-pilot. Just come on up front. We'll never drink all this by ourselves. <laughs> and in an effort to avoid our creditors, we'll be cruising at an undisclosed altitude this afternoon. <laughs> Sit back and relax. We'll take off as soon as the coast is clear. Now, is it just me or people dressing crazy when they fly? I see more people in their pajamas at the airport. You've seen that too? I can understand crack of dawn or overnight flight. I'm talking 1030 in the morning. A 40 minute flight from Houston to Dallas and they're in their pajamas. When you see that, do what I do. I sneak up behind them, shake them real hard and say, dude, wake up, you're at the airport. <laughs> in the bathroom in the airport yesterday. They had one of those, uh, one of those super duper hand dryers. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like a jet engine on those things. You can learn stuff from those hand dryers. Yesterday, I learned my watch is gold plated. Yeah, then there's a security checkpoint. We all love that, don't we? Take your shoes off, take your belt off, empty your pockets. Man, when I'm running late for my flight, I take off all my clothes in a car and fly naked. <laughs> That'd be a bad flight, wouldn't it? Have a naked guy in the middle seat next to you. With four peanuts. Hi, thanks for watching. 
Just a reminder, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe, and don't forget to download the Dry Bar Comedy app. When you do that, also, if you'll enter the code Falconberry, you can get all kinds of discounts, and frankly, good things will happen to everyone. Thanks.